What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Gara from Naruto. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle in the center of our page. And we're gonna use a side grip using the flat edge of our pencil. Let's start from the very top in the middle. Just lightly work our way around the left side, coming back in towards the center. And then we'll go all the way around the right side using these short choppy lines. And then just readjusting the circle as we go. Now with our circle in place, we want to add a set of guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center, starting from the very top. Sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom, and extend that up towards the top. Let's add another set of guidelines on the side of our circle. So we'll start on the left, coming down, extend that up, And then we'll add two more guidelines going across from left to right. Let's start in the center of our circle. Extend this out towards the side. And then add one more along the bottom of our circle. Now that we have our circle and guidelines, let's mark off the inside corner of the eyes. From the center, let's we'll step over towards the left, sketch a line coming down towards the bottom. And we'll take that same distance over on the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to place the top of the eyes along the center line. So from here, we're going to step down, and this up and out towards that center line. Let's go to the outside of the circle, step in, curve the bottom of the eye, coming down. Just round this out and come straight in towards the inside corner of the eye. Now I'm going to tuck the pupils in underneath the eyelid. Starting over on the left, draw a half circle, coming down and then bending that up on the inside. Let's place the mouth along the bottom of our circle. Start with a straight line going across. From the corners of the mouth, we'll angle this down and out. Let's go back to the center, step down, draw a straight line going across from the lower lip. Let's mark off the nose. Just above the mouth, angle this up and out towards the left and right side. Now from here, we're gonna move out and draw the side of the head. From the left side of our circle, let's step in. I'm just gonna angle this down and then in towards the bottom line. And then we'll go back to the lower lip, step down, just mark off the chin with a straight line. And then going back out to the jaw, we're gonna angle the head coming down and then in towards that mark. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and round out the ears. Let's start from the left side of our circle. Just going to curve the ear going out, and then bend that back in towards the side. Let's continue working our way down the side of the neck towards the shoulders. From the jaw, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines coming down. Let's layer the top of the collar in underneath the chin. We'll start on the left, curve across, going across the chin, and then back up on the right. From the side of the collar, we'll step down, curve this down and in towards the center, go out and up on the right. And then from the base of the collar, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out across the shoulders. Now from here, we're gonna move up and draw in the hair bangs. Directly above the right eye, at the top of our circle, it's gonna curve this down and across in between the eyes, towards that center of the circle, and this up towards the right. Let's add another curve going out and then down on top of the left eye, and taper that back up. Let's add a few more points going across towards the left side. Starting up here, curve out and then down, taper that back up, add another one, and then one more going across the top of the ear. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw on the right side. Start with a straight angle line coming down and out. Go straight up towards the top of our circle. Come down and out. Go straight up. And add one more going towards the right ear. 
Now from here, we're gonna locate the top of the head. So right in the center, right about here, it's gonna draw a straight line going across from left to right. From the center, we're just gonna curve the head, going out, come down the side, and then in on top of the ear. And then do the same thing on the right side. Now I wanna add some spikes around the outside of that curve. Let's start on top of the ear, angle down and out, angles back up and in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add another spike. Coming down and out, pull that back in. Let's add a couple more on either side. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and work our way across. Let's start up here, go straight across, curve this up and in, and then bend that down on top of the head. Now from here we're going to step out, curve this across and then up, come in, and then bend that down on top of the head. Let's layer another spike in behind, moving over, and this up towards the top, and then come back down. And then from here, curve across and up and taper that back down. Let's add a couple more on the right side, going up and out, pull that back in. Let's curve the last one going across and then down. Now we move back down and add some hair in behind the head. Let's start underneath the ear, draw a straight line coming down, and angle this back up. Let's add another point, coming down and in. And then one more on the side of the neck. Once we have a rough sketch, we're gonna go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, we're gonna go back in with the tip of pencil and start adding some details. Let's start by thickening up the eyes. We're gonna start by tracing out the inside, starting over on the left, just going across the top, and just come down across the bottom. Add a thick trim around each eye. and then we'll darken up the inside. Trace the outside of the pupil, and down across the bottom, and then pulling that back up. And then we'll lightly shade the inside of the pupil using the side edge of our pencil. I'm also going to add a shadow across the top of the eyes. and then a curved shadow across the top of the pupil. And move back to the side edge of our pencil and add a fold along the inside of the eye. Just going up and out, 
and just fading that out across the top. I'm just going to round out the inside, pull that down and out across the bottom. Just add in the nostrils. And then lightly shade in the bottom and just cast that shadow coming down towards the mouth. I'm just going to add a little bit more shape to the mouth, coming down towards the corners. And then we'll bend the lower lip. And then we'll add a light shadow underneath the lip. And now we're going to move out and add a little bit more shape and curve to the side of the head. Coming down towards the jaw. Round up the jaw and pull that in towards the chin. Let's bring the neck coming down towards the collar. And then we'll overlap the collar on top of the neck. So extending this out towards the side, going underneath the chin. And then working way across the top of the shoulders. I'm going to add that sash going across the right side, starting from the base of the collar, just curving this in. Out across the top. And now going back up to the top of the side edge of our pencil, we're going to add some texture and shadow across the hair. Starting from the top, coming down towards that point. And just adding some texture going back up. And now I'll go back and just detail out the ear, adding some more shape around the outside. And then with the side edge of our pencil, we're going to add those folds. Let's continue working our way around the outside of the hair, starting on the left. And we're just adding a little bit of shading along the inside. Now using the side edge of our pencil, we're going to add an even shade to the inside of the hair. I'm going to go back to the tip of my pencil and just refine the texture of the hair. Just adding some lines in between those spikes and just fading that up.
I'm going to go back and add a little bit more texture and shadows inside the hair. Starting from the top right, just working our way out towards each of those spikes. Also just fading that out as we come down. And now we're going to go back with the side edge of our pencil and just add a light shade to the inside of the face. And continue down towards the neck. I'm also going to cast the shadow from the head at the top of the neck. Add a dark shade to the color. And then add a medium shade to the body on the left side, coming in towards that sash. And then add a slightly lighter shade across the sash. Now we want to give the head some shape, so we're going to add some shadows across the side and the bottom of the head. And we'll just blend that out. And casting a shadow from the hair on top of the forehead. I'm just going to add that simple design on top of the right forehead.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Gara. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.